The Louds and the Casa Grandes are having a summer cookout. It's, it's on. on! Let's find the perfect job for everyone to make this the biggest multifamily <laughs> feast ever with the Loud House and Casa Grande Summer Cookout Guide. First things first, we can't have a summer cookout without food. Who should be in charge of that? Lincoln? Hey, Lana, you want to try half of my peanut butter and sauerkraut sandwich? Uh, I ate some grody things, but that is disgusting. <laughs> We're with Lana on this one, Lincoln. We don't think that'll be everyone's favorite. Len Sr. is the gourmet chef of the family. I'm making a turgoosin. A pigeon stuffed inside a goose, stuffed inside a turkey. Three times the bird, three times the deliciousness. But he'll need help cooking for that many people. Rosa Casagrande, a.k.a. Abuela, is also an amazing cook. She can bring all her classic dishes as well. Oh, I wish you could smell Abuela's famous tamales. No, Ow. Roberto, there are only enough tamales for dinner. And if she's cooking, we don't need to worry about a lack of food. Back it up, boys! If Lynn Sr. and Rosa are cooking that much, they'll need some aprons to stay clean. Lenny and Carlota got this. Carlota's great at thrift shopping. We'll start by throwing out all of these clothes. I usually donate, but nobody is going to want these. And Lenny can work with any fabric. I was just doing the costume fittings for a turkey pardoning skit. Quick, bring Judge Lori her robe! Sewing custom aprons should be so easy. When you get this many people together to eat, things can get messy. That's enough! So we need someone to manage this meal. Rita Loud's always on top of her game, so she'll be perfect. Why don't you go help your father in the kitchen? Lincoln, I need you to polish these spoons. Uh-oh, turns out Rosa brought way too much canned food. But it's great to donate any extra food you can. Who can be in charge of food donation? I call it, yes we can. Very clever, CJ. And now that I'm joining him, we're gonna double last year's donations. Awesome, CJ and Ronnie Ann are on the case. CJ, look, it's Mr. Park. He hasn't donated yet. Get him! With so much food in the house, we gotta make sure no one spoils their appetite before the cookout starts. Whose job should it be to protect the grub from the greedy? Ooh, mashed potatoes. <laughs> nice try, sister. But as officers of the Feast Force, it's our job to protect this food till tomorrow. I was just... We said scram! Whoa, scary. Lola and Lana will definitely be the barrier for this barbecue. But for the people to eat, we need a table. Who's gonna set it? Lenny? Weren't you going to put a leaf in the table? I did! Hello? Okay, so Lenny won't be doing that. I know, Lori and Bobby can set the table. They make a great team. I mean, we literally have such a great connection, don't you think? Totally. But food's not the only thing we need. A good cookout always has ice cold drinks. Lincoln loves Flip's Flippy so he can get some for the whole party. Ooh, flippies. A good barbecue needs good music. Who should be in charge of that? Lucy? Embrace the emptiness. Own the futility. The only song worth singing is silence. Whoa, that's heavy, Luce. A bit too heavy for a summer cookout. I know, Hector is a masterful songwriter, and so is Luna. They can do a duet. Two different families, yet so much in common. The loudness, the chaos, but we'll just keep drumming. Together, Together it's, it's better, better when, when we're in, in harmony. Do we have any other musicians that would like to lend their talents? Mi vida, your beauty inspires my soul. Hey, sweetie, got your choo-choo jammies, fresh from the dryer. Oh, mommy! Buenissimo, it can be a trio. Now we'll also need some dessert. Luann is pretty familiar with pies. <laughs> Just make sure the pies make it to the table, Luann. Next up, we need some games. Lynn's got this. She can bring footballs, baseballs, basketballs, you name it, she's got it. Just don't get too competitive, Lynn. Hope you guys are hungry, because it's almost time for Linner Linner Chicken Dinner. ding a ling a ling a ling With contact sports happening at the barbecue, it's important to have first aid kits on hand. Maria's a nurse, and she can be in charge of cookout safety. <laughs> Oh, this is just cranberry sauce. I tripped on the way over. This is going to be the best cookout ever. We'll need someone to take pictures so we can remember all the good times. Who should be the photographer? Lincoln? Just got to set the timer and... Everybody say cheese! Cheese! What is it going to flush? My jaw's cramping up. Give it a second. Yeah, 
I knew he'd blow it. Let's do selfies instead. Totes! No, wait! No, I mean... Last time Lincoln tried to take a family photo, it didn't work out. But Frida's a photographer. She can make sure we have all the memories. I love seeing my babies play so sweetly. <laughs> Summer cookouts usually mean a lot of bugs. Ah! We need someone to be on bug duty. Lana? Now, Chewy, share that cookie with Chompy. Lana loves bugs, so that won't work. I know, Lucy can use her seance candles to keep them away. It'll be a citronella seance. Oh, spirit of Goldie, our late family fish, who really flushed you. And finally, none of this can happen if we don't have good weather. But how can we make sure we have good weather? I called some friends at NASA. They pulled a few strings and a little cloud seeding later. We have ourselves another snow day. Well, Lisa, just call them and ask for nice weather instead of snow. Sound good? Yes! Thank you, NASA. Let's see who's left. Carlos, Carlitos, and Lily. Well, Carlos can provide fun facts for the whole family to enjoy. Oh, did you know that sea anemones glow when they're scared? And Carlitos and Lily can just enjoy being cute. <laughs> Whew, we did it! This is gonna be the best summer cookout ever. Which character would you wanna have a cookout with? Comment below, and we'll see you next time on the Loud House in Casa Grande Summer Cookout Guide. Nick, 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 Nick.